So, Luke, last time we spoke was Saturday evening after our record-breaking win. How good was Saturday and how important were the Wood Army and the crowd that came in their numbers? Yeah, everything. I've got to be honest with you, absolutely everything. And I've seen videos that people have obviously taken with their own phones that have gone on to Twitter, onto our social media, the videos that you guys and Elise have done. Yeah, it was tremendous. From start to finish, I thought the boys were immaculate in the way they, they implemented the game plan. The goals... Cliff getting the goal that he did to seal the, the win, the celebrations. And then obviously afterwards to just be applauded by the fans was tremendous. And yeah, that will live long in my memory as a manager for sure. And that would take some doing to top that. And something that happened yesterday was the FA Cup fourth round draw. We've been drawn an away tie at Bournemouth. I want to just know what are your reactions after that tie? Yeah, good. Good game good tough opposition in championship club, um, a fantastic manager, done an unbelievable job there. Um, they obviously went to Yeovil prior in terms of winning their 3-1 in the third round. <laughs> We've got Willstone tomorrow night, mate. Um, so I, I, my wife said, how good's that? And I said, yeah, it'll be around the 4th, 5th, 6th or 7th of Feb. We've got five games in that period. Um, yeah, mate, listen, you know how I work. I'm so boring, but I got up on Sunday morning at 5 a.m. To, to prep Worldstone. I watched three games back to back to organise that because, yeah, there's no Lord Mayor show with me. I had to get after the group today, as I normally do. You've seen me in your video that you've done. But, yeah, just to ensure that there's no one getting above their station. Um, they're bread and butters tomorrow night. We've got a tough Wallstone side coming to town and they're going to want to beat us and we need to ensure that we're right on it to continue our current form. And speaking of the boys and their recovery, we had a couple of players going down with cramp towards the end of that game. How is everyone doing tomorrow or today ahead of tomorrow's game? So that said player trained full today, full on session. Um, being Jacob Mendy I was fully assuming he was going to be coming in and getting a nice rub down or a second day recovery but wanted to train the boys have gone through the analysis worked out where we feel we can hurt them where their strengths are where we need to be good in terms of organisational sides of things <clears throat> but yeah no, everyone's fully fit it's probably the, the best squad that I've got available to my selection today we went to Barnet previously in the FA Trophy on the 18th, and then we played them here on the 2nd with a limited squad through COVID, through injuries, through suspensions. But tomorrow we've got Danilo and Denon coming back into contention, um, and we've got the team that's available from the 16-17 the that were involved on Saturday available. So as it stands, and I say it again, we're working on a day-to-day -day basis with regards to COVID, but we had every single member of the team available to train today. They've gone and trained. They've worked on where we feel we can exploit Wallstone. And yeah, I've got a headache now to pick the said team to go and get another three points against Wallstone. And can we expect to see any squad rotation in the game tomorrow? Listen, I, I need to start utilising the squad. To be saying we're on three fronts going into the middle of January is amazing. An accolade for this club and this group of players. And we've got five games in the next three weeks, I believe. So that's a big task. So we need to utilise the squad. But when I say the likes of Danilo and Denon coming back in contention, we had Frankie Raymond on the bench. We had Niall Ranger, Adrian Clifton on the bench, James Comley on the bench. So we've got good strength now and good depth. There's no hiding away from the fact we are trying to sign a centre-half. Um, hopefully we're getting closer to that. I know... Again, we are working tirelessly to try and get one in because we know we're a little bit thin in that area. But Comley was fantastic in the game against Barnet on the 2nd of January. So Mark Ricketts was fantastic in the two games against Barnet. We've got people that can fill in there. But in an ideal world, we'd want someone that's a nailed on centre half to go and yeah boost what we've already got in the building. And the final thing I want to ask you is there's three players in our current squad that played for 
Will said last year, being Mendy, Connor and Denham. How impressed have you been with those three and their return since the transfer in the summer? So I'll start with Mendy. Mendy's one we courted in the summer. Um, obviously, we had originally offered Corey Whiteley a deal and then myself, Chairman and Charlie come up with a package that incorporated buying Mendy his wages over a certain period and it was more favourable to do that and I have to say I think we've got the better part of the bargain I think Corey Whiteley is a superb player but for Mendy being 25 and he's learning he's getting better every week um, he's been a revelation Denon Lewis has come in he's played in two three positions for us already I see him as a striker I genuinely do I, I think he's a very talented individual we have the option on him for next year which as it stands at the minute, I'll be, I'll be snapping that because I think he's a real asset for this football club. And Connor Smith, he's been unfortunate. He was unfortunate to start, not start the first game of the season. I have to say, I thought he had a really good pre-season. I know what he's about. The best part about Connor Smith has been the conduit between the players and the staff as the first team coach. You work with him, you've seen him around the club. He is massively important to the togetherness of this team. So the three of them have been a breath of fresh air. And they're going to want to bite the hand that fed them last year, as anyone else will, as Charlie Cooper will do in their camp. I know he's suspended, but I can imagine he'll be drilling into them to ensure that they go and get a win against an old side that he used to play for. But for us, it's about controlling what we can control. I'll be telling them to play with a calm head, being Denham and Mendy, and making sure that, yeah, they, they do what's said to them, implement what's expected, and hopefully we go and get three points tomorrow evening. 